to week three, our final week of our Stitch with Friends for the Valentine's Friendship Sal 2024. We are working on the third part of the chart and I know a lot of you are finished, so if you're just here to hang out and stitch, that is totally awesome. Uh, the other gals are going to show their progress. Heather and Shari and Karen are all here tonight. Lori is still out of town, and so she is getting some sleep and won't be joining us this evening, but everybody here has got progress and lots of fun things to share, and we're just going to sit, stitch, chat about all of the things. A couple notes I want to remind you guys. If you are just starting or you're waiting for the PDF, which I believe uh, Lindsay said last week will be um, available tomorrow, February 1st. I can't even believe January's over. Um, you can join in then absolutely fine. I, you can get it stitched in a week or however long. There's no rules here, so don't be afraid of that at all. It is a very quick stitch. I will be showing my progress. The other ladies will be showing theirs. So let's just dive in. I'm going to bring them all in to the chat. Give me one second to um, unmute everybody and bring them on screen. That's not it. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted either. That's always so fun when I do that. <laughs> and this isn't it either. either. Oh, thank you. There we go. <laughs> Finally, <Okay>. winner. <laughs> kind of a sketchy dark person in the corner there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. If you guys, I forgot to tell you, um, there are fireworks going on. I'm very close to uh, Magic Kingdom, so excuse the fireworks. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We can see I them wish from our I was balcony. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's so I fun. Know. Yes. So Heather is still on a, her magical vacation. I'm still on my magical vacation, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. So we have Heather and Karen and Shari here tonight. How is everyone doing on their Quaker? Let us know in the chat. Let's see. Elizabeth said her pattern has arrived. That's awesome. I know Stacy has finished. I know Stacy oh, has finished it. too. Let's see. Retro RX wants to know if anyone else is going to miss our weekly dates. <laughs> I'm sure you will have another stitch along before long. One of these days. I have not planned anything quite yet. I'm not doing anything in February, so. I do hear the fireworks. I d just heard them, too. That's fun. It's not yes. annoying, though. So, <laughs> not like, oh, just, like Not till the grand finale when it's like. <laughs> exactly. That's okay. Can you just move over to the window? No, I'm just I can, right. actually, because you can see them, but yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. Um, Peg says, hello, I'm behind and may or may not get finished for the 14th. That is totally okay, Peg. Just do what works for you. Finished. <laughs> By a holiday. I don't like deadlines. Uh, no, no <laughs> deadline. No hard deadlines. This is a guideline. <laughs> the only person who really has to is me <laughs> since I promised finishing. But other okay. than that, do what you want to do. Okay, I am going to let each of the ladies, I'm going to put them up on screen and let them show their progress. Um, anyone want to volunteer to go first? I will. Karen! Karen is the winner. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I am still stitching. I finished week two last night, so I should be able to finish week three by tonight. I mean, by right on not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm stitching on 32 count linen, and it's uh, called Bashful Gray. It's beautiful, Karen. Thank you. All right. Well, Shari, you're going next because you were already okay. on my thing. Sorry. <laughs> I finished mine uh, 
last week, actually. <laughs> While we were on camera, if I don't. Yeah, I didn't have to go it. in and put in the bird legs. I did that today. <laughs> And then I also have a bonus finish, which is not mine, by the way. It's my sister's. She dropped it off so I could share it. It is so pretty. I love pretty. the purple. Yeah. yeah. So her, let's see. Let me look at her sheet here. Her fabric is Violet Mist 32 Count by Witchell. And her floss is Antique Rose Karen Water Lilies. It is pretty because it's very, there's some very different purples in it. It's super pretty. I love that that floss. It gives it a completely different look. Oh, that's so fun. I love the side by side. Sure, right, my favorite is Juniper. Two, uh, 32 count Juniper by Fabrics by Stephanie. That's my favorite. And what was uh, your sister's, Stacy's count? Uh, 32. So okay. they're the same. Okay. I thought that was a little smaller. No. Okay, Heather, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> the mine, <laughs> mine is done. Of course. My lighting is terrible in this hotel room, you guys. So that's sorry. okay. That's okay. We're glad you can join us. Yeah. So mine is on um, 40 count fabric from Color and Cotton, and it's a Beethoven linen, but I don't know the color name for this, this one. And then um, since I finished this one, I went back to the first one that I was working on. So this is a Weeks Dye Works gray, and it's also a 40 count linen. Um, and so it has a completely different look, more of a vintage feel, and I am just continuing the stitch on there. So I'll have two done, so I'll have one to gift. I love that. Okay. Yeah. I guess I should show mine too. So I have finished up through week two like Karen has, and I am stitching in two different colorways. So let's just do one at a time. First, I have the um, Ripe Melon on 40 Count Blush Linen by Zweigart. And it's going pretty good. My ripe melon keeps getting tangled. So I have been using a floss conditioner for that. And then I am also stitching on 36 count red velvet by color and cotton using grits from Weeks Dye Works. And I'm loving how that looks on the dark. I'm totally ordering red fabric so that when it, I can have it delivered <laughs> when it gets to my house when I get home so I can do that one in red. It's so been pretty. Wanting it the whole time. <laughs> that's so funny. Heather goes to bed at night thinking about the red fabric. Well, that's I not do. it. I dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back on screen. I just have to find the right button. How For some reason, I can't find it. <laughs> She's flipping through all us. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe oh, to my channel. In. <laughs> oh, I do. For some reason, it just took them all off. Well, that's okay. Here's what we're going to do. We'll just, oh, I know what I need to do. Back. Nope, add left. Oh, well, that didn't work. Hi, Heather. I'm sorry. Bill me. Have... Yep. <laughs> Bill, just you. Tonight, it's a special night. Nicole doesn't know how things work. There we go. I guess I just have to add us all back in. Let me go grab Shari. Okay. Yay. There we go. Yes. It's been a day. It's been a day. It has been a rather long day. So, so good. Let's see. Oh, hello, Primrose Cottage. I don't know which one of you. So hello, all of you ladies. Yes, I love the red too. Okay. I've Deborah loved has... all the peaks of their new stitches that are coming. Oh, me too. Instagram. That's a nice comment for Stacy. You'll have to, if Stacy's not here, you'll have to share with She's her. She's here. She's Is here. She... Oh, I earlier. probably missed it. Stacy's my sister, for those of you that don't already know that. <laughs> oh, she, she's in there. Awesome. Because I think she's, I saw her making comments earlier. Okay, Denise wants to know what time Primrose Cottage is doing the Nashville sneak peek. And I believe it is at, um, well, it'll be 8 p.m. Central time. So 7 p.m. Mountain. Is that correct? Let yes. me know. I think so. 
I'm not so good with the time zone, so I could be wrong. And then um, Kathy wants to know what the fabric is that is a light pink, and it has the white dots scattered in the background. Oh. The... I think it's it's a Lugana. Is it Splash? Pink Splash? Uh, it's... Well, I had the thing before. I feel like you've it. called it Pink Splash or something like, like that. Powder Pink Splash or something yes, like that. Yes, that sounds right. I think it's called Powder Pink Splash Lugano. And it is uh, Zweigart based. Yes. And huh. it's a 32 count. Yes. And I, I think, think all those splash ones are because there's a blue one too. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that it's only available in 32 count. Hi, see as Stacey. far as I've found, yes. Hi, Stacy. Your stitch is beautiful. Thank you for letting Shari share it with us. <laughs> I told them I had your stats, Stacy. We were reading them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> My sister likes to keep quite the record of how many stitches she's done and how much time it's taken. <laughs> it's really I'm impressed fun. with Are your you record share keeping, Stacy. I can share it if you want me to. So her whole stitch took 11 hours and eight minutes. So she kept track each week. And I think was... that that's really fun. That is a really fun stat because it really makes it super doable. If you're yeah. worried, it's going to take a long time. So I'll let yeah, so Sorry. Earlier you said if you did it, you know, you're just now getting started. Well, it only took her, you know, less than 12 hours, less than half a day, technically. Um, it was 2,322 stitches at 3.48 stitches per minute. That's the average. Stacy, you stitched a lot faster in week two, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you stitch fast. I think it's, I've already spent 11 hours on it. <laughs> I have not kept track, so I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just I'm guessing. terrible at keeping track. You're just guessing, Karen. Yep. Okay. Oh good. There you guys are. I'm going to flip it and I'm actually gonna to stitch tonight since we have a few less guests. Unless anybody wants to join. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me I see there's a question a couple questions actually. Uh, Gina says, oh, well, let's not make it super tiny. I can't read that. How do you use the variegated floss correctly? I gather from something I read on Facebook, on the Facebook group page that I've been doing it wrong, and I still think it's lovely, and I'm very proud of it. Well, that's the important thing. I don't really like to use the word wrong. Um, oh, and did I just delete someone out of here? I sure did. Sorry, Shari. I'll fix it. Um, <laughs> oh, no. That's okay. No, it's really not. <laughs> but it's it's going to be that kind of night. I know everybody's going to laugh. So sorry. Um, I didn't even. There know you go. Oh, now you're big. <laughs> now you're big. <laughs> I'll fix it. <laughs> I think when I was putting the the comment up, I messed it up. Um, it's not wrong, and I'm going to come back like to it really quick. wrong. Um, because I don't like wrong. You're supposed to stitch one complete X at a time to get the best variegation. I will say I have done it both ways. It took me a long time to kind of get my mindset around the way I was taught to cross stitch, obviously with DMC. So, um, now it's easier to do one X at a time, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I will tell you that from watching Fat Quarter Shop, Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop does not stitch it one X at a time. So I think there are certain flosses that it's better to do that. Like if it's a really strongly variegated one, I had yeah. one project where it was absolutely I really needed to stitch it one X at a time and I ended up pulling stuff out but I think when things are like tonal like this pink melon is very tonal I think you're totally fine yeah. doing it however which way you're still going to see that um, variegation in color oh 100 percent that's a good point yeah 
Yeah. The ones that have like really stark differences. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't get it. What's that? You did that one. Um, was it the Boscorno, Nicole? That was the candy yeah, cane floss with the white. Yes. Bread. Like, and yes, that, that one for sure. I would do one square at a time. Yes. Because you want to see that red and white. Don't, I thought I had it right here. Oh, I do. Um, well, I have the floss here. So I want. that's a good point. And I'm going to talk about that really quick. Yeah, that one. You have anything really variegated like this, you are going to want to do one square at a time. Otherwise, when you come back and cross, you will be at a completely different place and you're, you won't get that variegation that you really want in a stitch. So that right. was a great point, Heather. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. A lot of times it's not going to matter. I think if you're using ripe melon, and obviously this is grits and I know it's over dyed, but it's not that over dyed. You wouldn't need to do one X at a time, but with something like this, you for sure would. And like what Stacy used, I'm sure Stacy did. Oh, I can't speak for her. Stacy, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I mean, it looked like she had to have done every X maybe. I don't know. Nothing in this pattern, honestly, is like a big long something to where I don't, I think you could still do that is true you know there's yeah. no the longest run of stitches in a straight line is at the top of this hexagon shape okay did i if i missed your question pop it in again while i was messing with all my cameras Mike says there's no cross stitch police correct oh 100 percent. if there were there i was not. i'd be out <laughs> I'd be out too. Oh, someone asked, does everyone stitch initials and or dates into project or just put the information on the finishes? I don't do any of that. <laughs> I, rem I haven't done anything like recently, but I remember doing that when I cross stitched a long time ago. I used so to not, do that. I don't, I don't know. know. Stacey I think it would depend on the project. Stacy says she did two, three to four stitches at a time. That answers that question. Okay. Which, like I said, this one doesn't have any long runs of stitches, I don't feel like. All right. I think we're on the grand finale of the fireworks show, you guys. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> I love it. It's not bad, but it just is so funny that that's what's going yeah. on. Yeah. I, the first night we were here, I'm like, that sounds really close. And I opened my curtains. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I love that. It's like that mad, that Disney magic. 100%. How many more days of your trip do you have left, Heather? We are leaving tomorrow to head back up to Minnesota. So we today was our last day here. Aww. So very sad, but then we start our drive home. Callie says that she stitched her initials and year into all of her Christmas stockings. For Callie, something have I seen your Christmas stockings? stockings? If not, yeah, like we need to see your Christmas stockings, Callie. Yeah, I just bought a whole a whole bunch of patterns at Christmas time to do cross stitch stockings. I've really started. You can tell. <laughs> You're ambitious. I want to do the Shepherd's Bush has a lot of really cute Christmas stocking patterns. That's the ones I got, Heather. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> It is. Oh. I could not resist. The shop in Minneapolis is at Stitchville in Minnetonka. I know that they have a bunch of those patterns there. So my plan is to go and browse at all of them in the near future. Uh, you'll have to tell me which ones you get if you do. We'll have to compare. Okay. Sounds good. I bought them at Karen's somewhat local needle shop um they had a sale right after christmas like 25 percent. oh yeah yeah 
You didn't come down <laughs> without, without telling me. Oh no, me. <laughs> I, it, it was the it was what you told me. Where if you order and it's just you'll see what you get what you get. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> And I did get almost everything, but it was very funny. Um, they, you know, they do a handwritten receipt and uh -huh. it, it was crossed out. I'll have to show it to you later. They wrote <laughs> on there, sorry for the messy receipt. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it because it was funny. Okay, we've got some questions. So I am going to come bring us all back on screen. Um, let's see. Kimberly says, where can I find fabric and floss so I can do the project? I can't find it in stock. Um, okay. The right melon, if that's what you want, it depends on what you want. You can totally change it. Like you can see here, a lot of people have changed floss, color, and fabric. Um, Kimberly, I think we were chatting. You're a new stitcher, if I'm not mistaken. I would probably start on a 14 count. Um, if you haven't stitched at all and there's a lot like of pink colors that close. and only because I just pulled these. Yes. Um, thank you, Shari. Cherry tomato. This is ripe melon yes. and cherry tomato is pretty close. Hold it really close, Shari. Would you? Yes. Cherry tomato is the one with more on it. Right, melons. This one. The, that would be a really comparable color, um, and then I don't know if it's in stock right now, but like Fat Quarter Shop has a pink Ada. I think it's called Kimberly's mm -hmm. Pink, if I'm not mistaken. I think that would be pretty. Um, try one, two, three, stitch as well, and type in pink Ada and see what pops up. You can also a one, two, three stitch, go and sort, and then they have a color thing and you can pick a color and it'll show you everything in that color family, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's There's, awesome. Like you can There's click the way. pink square and it'll show you like all the pink fabrics in, you know, whatever you picked, 14 count eight hour, whatever. I also like that they sell smaller pieces so you can get a variety yeah. of you like. Yeah, for some of them, they'll sell small. There's like four sizes you can get. Yeah, I ordered a whole bunch of 40 count in different colors just to see what I liked. And it was, it's relatively inexpensive, I think. Kelly says, Thank you to Heather for spending her last night of vacay with us. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, Crystal says the fireworks were making her miss uh, Walt Disney World, even though she was there two weeks ago. <laughs> yes, I feel that. <laughs> um, okay. We love it here. Leah says, does anyone know if they sell tags or name tags that you can attach to your stitches when you give it as gifts that say stitched with love or something? I There's don't... lots of options on Etsy. Yeah. Yes, that would be probably the That's best place to look. Yeah. If anyone knows, uh, pop that into the chat and I'll put it up on the screen. Like the ones I have, they're really small and you cut them apart, but I could make them say whatever I wanted. I forgot what they say, but <laughs> like handmade by Shari, I think. Tabitha did use cherry tomato and Tabitha, I have seen yours. I did not realize that. And it is beautiful. Okay. So that is a very comparable um, color to the right melon. Thank you, Tabitha. And let's see, I think there's a DMC that's, on this chart, cherry tomato, the DMC equivalent is thirty three twenty eight. If you didn't want, that's great. You Thank you so that. much. And Callie, yes, the digital pattern will be available tomorrow. I think you are co correct about that. Oh, um, and Betty said she thinks that strawberry parfait might be mm -hmm. close to ripe melon as well. I have a feeling you can't go wrong. Uh, you can't. Um, I'm going to pop up some of these suggestions in case anybody is looking for a color. Uh, Crepe Myrtle by Weeks Dye Works is a lovely variegated pink, Lisa said. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, and Betty, thank you. She said Etsy has pink Ada also. That's a great tip too. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, awesome. Cindy says she stitched on 14 count bashful by picture this plus that she got at one, two, three stitch. Thank you. That's perfect. Bashful. It's called bashful Ada. Thank you. Thank you. I love when you guys give all this good. This is where we find the good information. Yes. <laughs> We all learn about it. Oh, okay. Kimberly, now she said she wants to do something in the purple family. I oh. would definitely at one, two, three stitch, put purple purples in. And like Shari said, it will pop up a lot of things. Or if you want gray fabric, put gray in and it will generate those fabrics. Let's see. And Stacy coming in clutch. She said, Ever Emblem makes custom tags that iron on. That's where she got her tags. Perfect. Mine was somebody else, but it was also Etsy. I think it just depends on how big you want them to. Let's see. I think Stacy's are small. Oh, and they? Jessica also votes for Ever Emblem. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> That's a popular one. <laughs> oh, and here's another one. The bobbin jar on Etsy. Has a pack I'm going to need a list. Is somebody keeping track so we can look all these up? <laughs> can we watch the video later? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. pause and like write it down. I, I volunteer you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. I'm going to sit here and work. I'll just listen. And I'm you know. just teasing. <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> Let's see. It's just chaos today. Oh, Barbara has a nice comment for Heather. She says, thank you for designing a cute card kit with quilt theme for us stitchers who quilt gifts to make cards to accompany our gifts. Oh, I'm so excited you like it. I think the only bummer was that I wasn't around to do my own samples. I will play with it when I get home. But yeah, oh. I'm super excited about, <laughs> about, about how that turned out. And everybody seems really excited about it. So I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see what you make with it. <laughs> Oh, Tabitha said she used uh, cherry tomato on Bashful. So look at that. There you go. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Danielle is saying there is a DMC color conversion for ripe melon, which I think Shari just told us what it was. Oh, no. Actually, I was telling you the one for cherry, cherry tomato. I'm sorry. Oh. I can tell well. you both. They're both in this chart. Uh, ripe melon was... Oh, it was close. Thirty three twenty six. The cherry tomato was thirty three twenty eight. So they're very close. <laughs> very close. That's awesome. Okay, let me see. Um, any suggestions for a in stock forty count charcoal fabric? Thinking of doing another one with the color Cupid. That is not a question for me, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think for me, is it Kitten Stitcher? She has so many mm -hmm. colors of 40 count. That's where I've had the most luck finding a uh, variety of colors is Kitten Stitcher. I would uh, second that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yep. She's going to have a lot of the higher. I mean, she has a lot of counts, but she, she has a tendency to really kind of feature some of the higher counts like 40 even some 46 and stuff so that would be a great one i picked up a gray from there i can't think of what it's i think it was a wabi sabi fabric i think was the brand try that brand on kittenstitcher.com and see if you can find some fabrics that you like Oh, and Berkey mom said that Fat Quarter Shop has tags. Type in sew in labels. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Oh, lots of tag options. Oh, I do not have a conversion chart. I just have a chart that happens to have those two colors in it and also lists the DMC colors. So <laughs> whoever asked that question, Rhonda. <laughs> So Debbie wants to, wants to know how we met. <laughs> Who wants to go? Paper we crafting. all know each other from the paper crafting industry. 
So, yes. and I think, um, did we all mainly meet in person at the whatever craft house for those retreats? I mean, we've known each other online, but I think that's yeah. where we all met in person. Yep. Okay. I think I met Nicole before that, didn't I? What? Did you come to Ohio once? Yes. I, I bet we met in we met in Ohio at a rich a paper crafting retreat. Shari and I did. But then I think the rest of us met um here in Kansas. Yes. There is a a craft retreat. It's a small one. Um at what's called the Whatever Craft House. And that's where we all met in person. Yes. yes. But we all known each other online for years and years. So right. Okay, Sue wants to know what I'm using for my stitch. Do you mean fabric or floss or both? For the red, it's red velvet by Color and Cotton, which is kind of hard to find, but there's other options out there. Weeks Dye Works has a beautiful red. I think it's called Aztec Red. Um, Fabrics by Stephanie has peppermint, which would be beautiful. And then uh, number 12, Stitch Co. on Etsy has one called Rose Red, I think. I think that's what it's called. And for the pink, I'm using 40 Count Blush by Zweigart. Let's see. Oh, Sandy has a good point for Debbie. She says, tell us where you live, like state-wise. She's guessing someone here lives near you. She found someone in the same town here live one night. And yes, they did. And they've met up. So that is a great point, Sandy. Thank you for mentioning that. And I'm really sorry that my dogs think it's playtime. You... Oh, <laughs> Debbie says that Shari and I made her get a Spellbinders Platinum so she could stitch with felt. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> And do you enjoy it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Dogs. So sorry, everyone. We'll just shut them out. My dog's sleeping. Shocking. Well, I wish mine were. Oh, usually I close the door and leave her outside because she doesn't stay like this very long, but currently she's sleeping. Well, I did a live for my Patreon today, and they were so good. They slept the whole thing, so I should have known that that wouldn't last. <laughs> you used up all your tokens for the day. I used up all my, my free good dog tokens for the day. They're being awful right now. Rolling around, being so silly. Sue, did I answer your question? If not, let me know. I'm just oh, she just stitch this border here. She just ordered the machine today. It will be there next week. Oh. She has felt ready. She has felt ready to go. <laughs> you are ready then. That's awesome. <laughs> go in the other room, dogs. <laughs> they pushed the door open. I didn't shut it all the way. <laughs> Well, someone wants to know if you'll be doing a finishing video, but I think you said last week, no, right? Right. I am not. Okay. So I am not going to do one um, just for the pillows because Lindsay has one for how she finished. Oh, I'm so far behind in the chat. So sorry. Um, she has... Uh, finishing video for the Quakers on the Primrose Cottage channel. In fact, I will link it in this video description when we're done because I don't think I did. I will likely finish mine similar to that, so I'm just not going to do a video. But I do have something I'm doing with this chart, so I will have a surprise uh, finishing tutorial for you next week just to show you something else that you can create with the chart so or with the design. 
Well, I'm excited to see what it is because you haven't told us yet. Oh. I know. Right? Hang out when we are done with the live. I just realized Shari, I think, even asked me the other day, and I don't I think did. I told her. Text, and she ignored me. All week long, I'm like, is she ever going to tell us? Is she ever going <laughs> to tell us? Probably not. So sorry. I'll tell you. It's not um, at the top of my mind, just so you know. <laughs> okay, good. You should be having fun on your vacation. I am, yes. <laughs> Sue said, oh, the red fabric, what floss? I am using Weeks Dye Works Grits. Shari. Yes. Uh, Sandy says she stitched four of the motifs from the Quaker, uh, like you suggested, white on red. And she's going to post it later tonight. Ooh. Think, fun. Where did we, I can't remember where I said that. I guess it was on a video. It wasn't here, was it? I think it was on a I think it was on a Floss 2 video because I said, I finished. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something else to stitch. Do you want to show us what you're working on? Do you have a start? Oh, yeah. I'm, just... I'm not crazy about what I'm doing right now, but. Oh, cute. Oh, are... These back is that the yellow fabric you just got? It is. The back stitches over like multiple squares is taking a lot of thought, but. And it was supposed to be two, but I didn't like two. So I'm doing it with one. I like it. I do too. I don't know how it show up though. I'm trying to. We'll see. I kind of like the ghosting though. It gives texture without. I mean, yeah. The, the, the honeycomb is supposed to go up into the seam, so it's not. Because I mean, here's the picture. Yeah. Like I don't think it's that big of a deal. Are you gonna do it into the hexagon sh shape? Maybe. We'll see how well I do with that. <laughs> hey, if Lori can sew a heart, you can make a hexagon. <laughs> She's not here to defend herself. <laughs> hey, it turned out really good. It turned out really good. I forgot uh, I also need to do this color like a shadow on the two and B. So maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> Andy says that you mentioned it on your floss tube Char. okay that's where it was I just couldn't remember I thought that's where it was and I talked about how like some of the ones that look like medallions would be cute as little pillows especially this one oh for sure yeah. oh that would be really cute Chantal says that it looks awesome Shari <laughs> thank you Chantal um, let's see Nicole, have you ever stitched and sewn a mini roll, like a neck roll, but smaller? I have not. But I can tell you that I think 2024 is my year of trying New thing. different finishes um, that I've not done before. I'm really loving it. Like, I guess I started in 2023 with the Biscornu, but um, I did a That's heart this year. Cool. And Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Shari. Oh, no, the Biscornu is the goal for me right now. They're yeah. really fun. You made us all want to make one. Yep. Let's see. Actually, a quilt is my goal this year. Oh yeah, I need to do that too. <laughs> Actually, it's a it's a goal by next the end of next month. Someone asked if a felt tutorial has posted yet. Is that which one? <laughs> which one? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um, oops. I'm guessing probably not. I, I have one. I have the needle book, but I don't have anything else up yet. My my day job got in the way of editing that video. Same. So I definitely need to get back to it and get that finished. Oh, I messed up. So should we take a gamble or bets on how uh, how much I have to rip out when we're done? Uh, <laughs> this, this pattern, and I, I think it's because I've been traveling, but I have torn out and restitched so many times, so many times. Oh. I was um, worried I was going to have to do that because when I started, I started in the top right corner in those hearts that go across the top. Halfway through, somehow I skipped two squares instead of one, but I kept going and didn't realize it and had to rip them all back out. And I thought this is not a good way to start, but then that was the only one I messed up on. So, 
the very first, so you guys can go back and watch the first one, and I show up my progress, and I had skipped this second outline heart. So I had one heart and then did the whole border. So I had to right. tear out that whole border. <laughs> That's so painful. I hate and when nobody that happens. pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. If notice. I had seen it, I would have told you. I did not. <laughs> it's okay. It was you when I was trying we to fit like the other parts in. Playing the highlights game where you in the magazine where you have to figure out the one thing that's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the way I feel when I'm like, why isn't this lining up? <laughs> I love that. What's what's different from the picture in mine? Figuring out. <laughs> well, I think it's the same, but I'm one square off all the way over. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to take creative license. True. Yeah, I almost left what I did, but I was like, no, that's going to make throw everything off. And I was like, mm, I'll just take it out. Yes. Jennifer says she is going to have to watch the Primrose video. I also have pillow finish tutorials on my channel. Uh, they'll be under finishing tutorials. I will likely finish mine very much like those. I, um, I sew up the back of mine or I sew up the back of mine. I sew them around. Sorry. And then I, I also sewed the bottom of the one pillow I made because Nicole showed me how <laughs> I try. It's really just personal preference, how you want to do it. Um, let's see. Connie says when stitching with, over dyed floss, I work from left to right and finish each stitch. So when I finish a row, I drop down and work from right to left. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I always like working right to left, so I will flip my fabric upside down. <laughs> Just a fun little fact. I, I have done right that too. But it, I don't flip it upside down. <laughs> it well, it depends on the fabric because it, the way I think I pull my stitches a certain way. So some fabrics that are a little bit more loose weave, then it looks different. So I've had to. Not, oh yeah. I've had to go that one direction, or you know, stay not flipped. So it depends. It totally depends. You know right oh, away when it doesn't look right. Yes. And it's just the way the stitches lay. Yeah. I hold my fabric sideways all the time. Did I miss? Is Stacy getting a new fur baby? Saturday, yeah. Ooh. Barbara wants you to share on your floss tube, Stacy. She, she, that was already the plan. She was like, I think she was supposed to go on the tenth, maybe. Um, but she's going this weekend instead. And she, a new she playmate. Me, I wanted to come film a tube with a new. Yeah, we keep telling Scout she's gonna have a cousin. <laughs> she, nice. I love that. It's a Yorkie. Yeah. Oh, that's what I used to have. That's what she had before. Karen, when do you get your baby? Yeah, I'm still waiting. I'm still being picky. Actually, the girl called me tonight and they're picking from a litter, but they don't have what I want yet. So I'm waiting. That's okay. That's what I said. I said, I don't mind waiting. I mean, they had one that was really cute, but it was a boy and I want a girl. Yep. Oh, I hear mine waking up. Is that what? Oh, <laughs> I hear her. She left. <laughs> she won't. Callie wants to know, do you use the poly pellets? I usually use a combination of those and polyester fiber fill. I find that if I only use poly pellets, I don't like the texture. Like, I feel like the polyester fiber fill helps give it a little bit more shape, if that makes sense, Callie. need that in the corners. Like yeah. But I like the weight of the poly pellets. Oh, and I just deleted Karen. Wow, I am having some 
I mean, she's still here. <laughs> Can hear she's just not me. on camera. Karen, That's, so sorry. I've been on camera all day for work, so it's fine. <laughs> it's really not. That's rude. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's really finicky. Apparently, I haven't flipped the things around so much tonight. Let's see. Oh, oh that's Sandy awesome. Asking about your felt tutorial for beginners. Oh, but yeah. That's you be patient. She what? But she'll be patient. Oh, yeah. It's coming. 100%. Um, let's see. Beth said, oh, this Sal and your floss to videos have inspired me to change fabric and floss from those called for. In the past, I constrained myself to exactly the pattern or passed it over. Oh, that's awesome, Beth. Awesome. I think that's part I of the fun of that, too. Yeah. And I also used to stress if I change stuff to be like, is it right? Well, it doesn't, there's no rules. No. It's right and if, if I it's like not it. right, you just undo it and try something else. Right. That's right. Sherry said Thank she tried to you. buy some of the poly pellets, but Hobby Lobby was out. You know what's funny? I found some at Walmart. You might check Walmart. It's I have a I don't have a huge Walmart right close to me. The bigger one is a little further away, and my little small Walmart has them. So you may check just in case. Amazon will have them too. Stacy says she will share her puppy. Oh, it will be posted February 13th. Yay. Hopefully. <laughs> I cannot it's wait. She asked me to come over on the 12th and the one with her. So it'll be both of us, I guess. Oh, that's fun. Okay, this has been a very not good stitching evening for me. I have not stitched correctly multiple times. <laughs> oh my word. I might have to break out the magnifying glass for these hexagons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shimon, yeah, I am. I am being pretty, as the sable stitchers call it. That literally is one of my very favorite things um, that they, that Lenny says on there when you do something dumb. She calls it being pretty. <laughs> so now I just think to myself, oh, that was a pretty moment. <laughs> I was pretty then. <laughs> oh, did Stacy share what the baby's name's going to be? Tucker. Tucker. Oh, Tucker. Mm -hmm. Cute. Way cute. Babies. Okay, Natalie has a great point about the uh, poly pellets for anybody who is looking for them. She said she gets hers at Joann's with a coupon. Love them. That's where I got mine. And I think I used a coupon when I bought mine. It's been a while, but that's where I got them. Perfect. Oh, yeah. um, I do not know the answer to this. Bray wants to know why linen is considered a more high quality fabric to stitch on than other kinds. I don't know that it's it's considered more high quality um, necessarily. Heather, you got anything? I know. For I'm, that? I'm trying to think about this. Linen is just. I mean, I think linen fabric in general is just a more. It, it is considered a more. I, I don't know. I guess I don't know where the right word for this is, but like, you know, in the fabric store and even like for clothing and things right. like that. Um, it's one of the stronger fibers I know linen is. Um, so I don't know if I have a really good answer for that. I don't either. Asking we'll have her. to. I know. Ooh, sure. I know I like linen. I like it too. I didn't at first, well, I shouldn't say that I didn't at first. I It just takes practice to stitch on. But I think mm -hmm. a lot of fabrics, I mean, are higher quality than they were 
25, 30 years ago. So there's a lot of really beautiful fabrics, no matter what kind you, you want to stitch on. Yeah. Homework. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Yeah, plant-based natural fabric, a lot of people saying, which it is. And I think some of the more organic but, natural fibers, I mean, it, it's easy to make synthetic fibers. And so I think the natural ones, are it, they're harder to make, they're harder to get. I mean, not harder to get, but do you know what I mean? It's Right. They're not cheaper to make, if that makes sense. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Oh, Cheryl is another vote for getting the pellets at Joann's. She used a 50% off coupon. So Joann's, everyone. <laughs> when they have the coupon, that sounds like the way to go. Yeah, linen is really durable, someone says. Which is true. I knew that, too. It's strong. It's durable. You're Linen cross stitches are lasting forever. Yes. <laughs> Such as they are. <laughs> Let's see. Good. They will stay in my zipper bag forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to have a finishing weekend, girl. <laughs> I know. Finish all your stitches for June. Oh, yeah. I can bring them all. And my sewing machine. <laughs> Just bring them with you. That may be what I do. Make all the pillows. Make all the pillows. Well, we made a bunch of tiny ones last time, so. So let's make bigger ones for sure. That was good practice. Let's see. Kimberly says she just finished a project but can't figure out what backer panel fabric to use. Oh, um, yeah. I would say lay different colors of fabric behind what you've stitched and see what your eye naturally goes to. Um, sometimes one color will speak more to you than another, I think. I have brought my cross stitch to the quilt shop and mm -hmm. carried it around and held it up to everything. I like I that. Do. I have two for the two yeah. pillows I've made. You probably don't want anything too busy either, I would think. No, you don't want it to take away from all the work you did. You like a more subtle pattern, like tiny dots or a tone on tone, something or other, I would imagine. I have my one pillow right here that I made. I can show it to you. Yes, show it to us. We I just have stuff. a few minutes left. I'm definitely not going to go over tonight. Oh, look at that, Karen. Yeah. That's adorable. Oh, I oh, have, so cute. I think we need one as well, Karen. It's actually back here. We I mean, I made a project bag with this same fabric. Hold on, I have it right here. So, well, let's just put Karen. Let's see it big. Hold on, Karen. We're gonna put you on solo. All right, there's the pillow. Let me take that away. Oh, that is turn. adorable. Right off. That might be better. And then there's the. That's a cute That's fabric on the back. Yeah, so I made uh, also have a little zipper. Does paper. it have like hearts in it, Karen? What? Does it have hearts in it? Yeah, it has little hearts on it. That's cute. Yes. There. Oh, there. That's oh, perfect. That's, super cute. There we go. that's cute. That is really pretty. Shari, did you have something you wanted to show? Oh, I got my pillow, my one pillow I've created. I love it. And this is a great example of changing um, the fabric color and the floss colors um, yes. from what's this called one, for. This one's none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. It looks amazing on that dark fabric. Because I think the original one was on light fabric and everything was, all the text was green. Yes. I love those um, colors. On the label. Beautiful. Sorry. It's so pretty. I was nervous about the rick rack where the fabric and the cross stitch meet, but I did okay. Where it looked a little funny, I added a bow. <laughs> Should have a Friday 
finishing frenzy. That sounds like a good plan. Um, Lisa wants to know what you do with tiny pillows. I like to just tuck them into displays. Yep. Trays, well, have, bowls, just other little displays around your house. I have a bowl. It has no pillows yet. Yeah, I have mine on it. <laughs> I need to work on making the the ones on the splash fabric into pillows. Like Karen. Yeah, the little ones you did? Yeah. Yeah. I need to make those into pillows. Oh yeah, those are so cute. Yeah, let's see those up close. Hold on, I'm gonna put you on solo again. Oh, and take off the chat. Sorry. <laughs> there. And you changed the colors on these as well. I did because these were on black. Yeah. With red. Oh, yeah. I Shari really is a rebel. Colors. That's beautiful. <laughs> I like it on that pink. It's so pretty. Let's see. Cheryl says, I need to get over my fear of gluing on trims. Any suggestion to keep from over gluing? You can always just stitch them on. Mm -hmm. I stitch mine on a lot. Sometimes, That's what I've been doing. Sometimes I'll glue it. I glued it when I did the drum, mostly because I just thought it would be really hard to stitch it on. Um, but I just make sure to use a, a glue for fabric because it's going to dry clear. Yeah. So do you, when you stitch it on, you're just stitching it on the face of the fabric? Is that what you're talking about? Do you just like whip stitch it with something that matches? Yeah. 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 Let's see. Um, Truer North Design wants to know, Shari, did you stitch Rick Rack on with the sewing machine? I did. That's why I was nervous about it. But I stitched it between my two pieces and then folded them out and ironed them. That's why you can only see one side of it. I like the little peak of the of the Rick. Yeah, me too. I like that look. Okay, everybody. I'm. We're gonna wrap up. I was starting to say because Primrose Cottage does have a live tonight, and they're gonna talk about all their Nashville releases, and that starts in about three minutes. So I know a lot of you are gonna want to watch that anyway. Um. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the Stitch With Me. If you have any last questions, we'll be on for just a couple more minutes. So definitely throw them in the chat. This was fun. We'll have to do it again. We will yeah. have to do it again. It was very we'll pick fun. pick another friend pattern. Okay, somebody else pick this time. This, this time not somebody me. else. <laughs> I'm going to do pick all the little one. primrose ones one a month. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'll do that with you. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll, well if, if I did it, it would not get done on time. I know that. I want <laughs> I like that idea, but one a month. You that's can do more than one a month. It's fine. They're only like they look time. tiny. Yeah. You know. Okay, if they dra if a stitch along drags on too long, I fail. <laughs> <laughs> How about we like pick a couple and do those? <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more things that we see from other people to do too. When yeah, we see, we'll all discuss. Them. We'll discuss yeah. in our text for sure. <laughs> okay, everyone, thank you so much. Um, I know I saw a couple questions about Shari's things that she just stitched. I'm sure she's sharing if she hasn't already in her recent. Oh. Did you share in your recent floss tube? Not the, yet. Like the pillow. Yes, no, everything the, I've, I've stitched is in one of the three floss tubes I've done. Yes, um, um, I will make I sure that I link that, that down right. below for you. And guys. I try, I've been trying to put the names of the patterns and the fabric I use on the screen when I talk about it. So I saw someone asked about a fabric. Yes. So definitely check that out. Again, thank you guys so much. Head on over to Primrose Cottage um, and see all of the new Nashville releases. They are fantastic. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.